interview skills interview skills is another very important oral communication skill it requires two persons minimum an interviewee and an interviewer and it is goal oriented it's, it serves a specific purpose let's see the various types of interviews what we are most familiar with is the selection interview where it is a job interview where depending upon how the interview goes on the candidate is either selected or not selected this is what we are used to promotion interview once in the organization the department wants to take a decision on a person normally it would conduct a one is to one promotion interview to check whether the person is eligible for the promotion or not based on certain criteria exit interview when a person is leaving the company in order to get feedback about the company and why he is leaving an exit interview is conducted reprimand interview normally this interview is done in order to punish for a wrong doing and this is done after a talk happens with the person who has committed the mistake grievance interview if somebody wants to somebody has a problem and wants to bring that forward so in an organization grievance interview would be conducted in order to understand why the person has a grievance and if possible to help it set right stress interview in certain uh, roles stress it could be a stressful role hence to find out the right fit the hr department can insist on a stress interview for that person where he'll be put into a simulated stress environment to see what his reactions are orientation interview once a person has been selected and all on the verge of being selected the person is given an overview of the company so that background is given so that the person is clear that this is the company he wants to join and this is what the company is all about admission interview again as students all of us would have gone through this either in the nursery or otherwise for our mba or anything that you know any senior level college entries uh, admission interview is where a check is made whether the candidate is the right person for the course and does he fulfill all the criteria that is required for the same appraisal interviews to understand how the person has been performing and to see his strengths weaknesses performances highlights low lights performance appraisal interview is done mock interview mock interviews are done very often especially for students before they go on for their placements okay to see how well you know they do in the interview so that if there are any areas where they need improvement feedback is given panel interviews there are some interviews where uh, before the candidate is either given admission or taken on to the organization senior levels panel interview may be taken where the number of interviewers may be many many not one in that case it becomes a panel interview problem interviews whenever there is a problem and that needs to be solved or addressed and it's a one is to one mostly a problem interview happens what are the essential features of an interview there are three different purposes for which we have interviews but all of them have the following features in common they are there is a definite purpose and it is known both to the interviewer and the interviewee what is the purpose in a selection interview what is the purpose the purpose is to select the candidate so the interviewer is looking for a good candidate and the candidate is looking for a job both the parties need to prepare for the communication event the interviewer has to prepare as to what questions he wants to ask and the interviewee has to prepare how he or she is going to put herself forward all interviews are pre arranged they are well informed they are well planned so and so date so and so venue so and so time the interview will happen the only possible exception is the dismissal interview where we may want to sack someone in that case probably that may not be you know pre planned pre planned by the organization possibly but not for the interviewee especially spe uh, the essential features of an interview further are 
there are at least two participants in the event minimum an interviewee and an interviewer but in common practice there is one interviewee facing more than one interviewer so you have very many people who may interview the person there is a clear exchange of information there are questions being asked there are answers coming so there is an exchange of information questions may be asked from the other side also answers may be given from the side also the information exchanged may or may not be kept secret it is not confidential normally how does one structure an interview both the parties have mutually to take care of the three stages beginning middle and end both have a responsibility that's what it means chronology of the interview so what comes in sequence introduction a typical selection interview is what we look at here 2 to 5 minutes is what we should plan for a casual talk saying hello how are you how did you come okay i hope you found the place with ease smile handshake etc so make the person feel at ease second part company information where you talk about the company telling them this is this this is how long we been this is what we do there's a number of people we have and so on candidate assessment which is the core of the whole that's the whole purpose 10 to 30 minutes where the candidates qualifications are checked because it should suit the requirement of the company achievements that will tell us more about the candidate and whether he can do what he's supposed to do in this company questions will be asked for better clarification and understanding of the skills of the candidate the conclusion interviewer determines and suggests when a response will be forthcoming candidate tries to summarize his or her qualification reaffirms interest candidate may also ask a few questions so it may be brought to a logical end by asking the final final questions that particular event and the candidate may also ask a few questions he may be given a chance to ask a few questions to summarize and so that understandings are clear as far as the interviewer and the interviewee is concerned